Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Now Jody Clark is a name that's going to be familiar to many coin collectors, having designed a lot of important coins over his career. Today we're going to be looking at some of the work of one of Britain's most accomplished modern coin designers. The first successful design which we see minted by Jody Clark was the design for the 2014 Britannia, the same design which was used a year later on this fine silver £50 coin. Britannias are popular investment coins and his design was the 11th in the series. There have been many more since 2014 and are regularly released in proof and bullion standards catering for those who take advantage of the fact that the denomination is exempt from capital gains tax. In fact, over on the Britannia Coin Company website, we have a range of our best value Britannias, which are our lowest margins over the live spot price, which means you can get a great deal on a great coin. For the design Jody Clark created, he wanted to convey a powerful woman in Britannia, the personification of Britain, and we can see her stood by a lion. Now in his research for the design, Jody Clark had seen Britannia portrayed sat atop a globe, signifying the dominance of Britain over the world through empire. He felt that this was an outdated concept and so chose to have the globe in the background, showing Britannia moving with it rather than controlling it. The design is fantastic, but being a non-circulating coin wouldn't be seen by all, but what happened the following year certainly got seen by many eyes. In 2015, Jody Clark's design was chosen to be the new portrait on UK coins for Queen Elizabeth II. This was the portrait which would be minted on almost all of the country's coins up to 2022, the year in which the Queen sadly passed away. It would be minted on coins in circulation, which would be handled by the public, but also on the higher end exclusive coins with larger price tags. For the past seven years, his work has been a regular sight to coin collectors. His design became the fifth and final portrait of the Queen minted onto our coins, and at the age of 33, he was the youngest of the five artists whose work had been chosen as the depiction of the Queen throughout her 70 year reign. He was also the first Royal Mint employee in over 100 years to have their work selected to be the new portrait on the obverse of the coins, as the design brief would also have been sent out to external artists to compete as well. The following year he landed another impressive job to design the Queen's Beasts collection. It was a series of 10 coins which was released over a number of years. They are a collection of heraldic beasts passed through the ancestry of the monarchy. At Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, 10 statues of these creatures were displayed at Westminster Abbey, and for each of those a coin was released. The series ended up being hugely popular, and was released in a number of standards from cupra nickel, gold and silver, with proof coins and bullion versions. The set consisted of the Lion of England and Unicorn of Scotland in 2017, the Red Dragon of Wales and the Black Bull of Clarence in 2018, the Falcon of the Plantagens and the Ale of Beaufort in 2019, the White Lion of Mortimer and the White Horse of Hanover in 2018, and finally the White Greyhound of Richmond and the Griffin of Edward III rounded off the collection in 2021. Well, kind of, but we'll get back to that in a moment. The majestic and powerful beasts are such an eye-catching series of designs, and Jody Clark succeeded in his desire to capture the power and motion of these beasts. It was also a challenge for him to draw on the impressive and grand statues, but replicate that on a much smaller scale, without losing the formidable presence each beast has. But again, he really succeeded in transferring this to the smaller canvas of a coin. Within each of the ranges of standards and metals too, it's really interesting to see where the pinch point for collectors are. For instance, the five pound Red Dragon of Wales and the Black Bull of Clarence in brilliant uncirculated Cupra Nickel far exceeds the others in terms of their value, with these two Cupra Nickel coins selling at times for more than the same design in silver. 
it just goes to show how successful the designs were to create such a desire for individuals to collect the whole set for a couple of base metal versions of the coin to outstrip the values of the same coin in precious metal. Now I said this was a 10 coin set, well kind of, because there is this coin as well. After all 10 had been released, the set was then complete, but then came out the 11th coin. This is the completer coin, and as you can see, we have each design scaled down to fit around a portrait of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. This is a truly beautiful coin, which isn't overpowered by the busyness of all the different elements, a real sign of success in a coin. I'd love to know down in the comments though, which of the Queen's Beasts coins is your favourite, but I think you can tell that this one takes pole position for me. Of course, given that this collection of coins was released after 2015, it means that both sides of the coins have been created by Jody Clark, which doesn't happen all that often in coins. The final coin was a great success and topped off a really popular long-standing collection of coins. If you like this set though, there is another long-running series which took up the mantle of the Queen's Beasts collection, and that is the Royal Tudor Beasts. With three already out and more to come in future years, many of the beasts will return to our coinage imagined by another artist, David Lawrence. With the recent death of our queen and the passing of the crown to her son, King Charles III, this set will be one of a few which will carry on, but with the portrait of King Charles III on the obverse for the rest of the coins. So this set will chart this historic change in the history of our country. If we look further afield too, we can see another portrait that was created of the Queen by Jodie Clark too. A testament to how admired his portrait of the Queen was on UK coins that this portrait has been used in the Isle of Man and by other privately owned mints. It was first adopted in the Isle of Man in 2017 and was minted on their coins all the way up to 2022. Quite what the Isle of Man has planned for their coinage going forwards is another question entirely, but for at least the last five years, Jodie Clark's portrait of the Queen was minted for circulation and for collectors. Even further afield, in fact about as far away as you can get from the UK terrestrially, Australia has also adopted the same portrait of the Queen on their coins. The design became the sixth and final portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on Australian currency and will be used in a planned memorial coin, with Jodie Clark's design on the tail side of the coin and King Charles III to be on the obverse, which is going to make for a really fascinating coin for sure. Given that the Queen was Head of State of Australia, a role which has now passed to King Charles III, her portrait has adorned Australian coins throughout her reign. This was a rather recent change, dating back to 2019, and on one release, to mark the change of the portrait, the reverse featured the previous portrait of the Queen by Ian Rank Broadley, and the obverse featured the new portrait by Jodie Clark, which makes that a coin that you can't really flip heads or tails for, I guess. Finally, we will look at Jodie Clark's most recent design to be minted on our coins. And if designing the portrait of the Queen for multiple countries wasn't a mark of industry respect and of the quality of his work, being chosen for the design on King Charles III's first sovereign is a really key coin in the field of numismatics. The sovereign has been one of the world's most recognisable coins and one in which investors have relied on for many years now. And of course, because Jodie Clark designed the portrait of the Queen, it means that since 2015 his work has featured on the sovereign as well. With a new monarch on our coins though, whose portrait was designed by a different artist, Martin Jennings, the 2020 three memorial sovereign was Jodie Clark's first reverse design on this iconic coin. With a release last year and products only now just starting to arrive, we don't have ours in hand yet, but we can still admire the striking beauty of his latest creation. When the coin was first announced through royal proclamation, it simply stated that the design would be the coat of the royal arms, which was the same description as on the 2022 Jubilee Sovereign, which led some to believe that the same design would be used, but you can see how strikingly different each design is. It just goes to show the impact that different creative minds can have on a design of the same subject. 
Jodie Clark has knocked it out of the park with this design for the first sovereign of King Charles III and we can't wait for our stock to arrive. If you want more information or to purchase any of the coins that we featured in today's video though, there are links down in the description of the video so you can check them out on our website. Jodie Clark's work which is featured on our coins has been really impressive over the years from his first Britannia to his latest memorial sovereign. Let's hope that the Royal Mint continues to work with him making more amazing designs for us to add to our own collections. Now let me know in the comments what your favourite coin design from Jodie Clark is, whether we featured it in today's video or not. We also have a blog article about Jodie Clark in more detail over on our website so check out the link in the description if you want to know more about this prolific designer. Be sure as well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also catch us on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see us posting lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok, we've got our shop and online store but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.